Hello everyone, my name is Sarah. I go by G Sarah on Instagram and today I'm going to be mixing fragrance oils. I kind of already started a week ago. I ordered these 32 ounce jars from Amazon and I'll have them tagged down below, but I ran into an issue when I ordered them because I've talked about these lids in a bunch of my videos, but I bought these lids for all of my fragrance oils because they fit on every single brand that I've ever bought from. They fit on all of them, um, the 16 ounce, the eight ounce and the four ounce bottles. They fit on all of them and they just make it really easy to pour with. I'll tag the video over here where I talk more in depth about them and their awesomeness. Basically, I ordered these 32 ounce jars and then I started buying fragrances in 32 ounce jars. And then when they arrived, these lids didn't fit. They're too small. So I spent hours and hours and hours um, on the internet just trying to figure out what size lid these were and I found them on Amazon. So I will have those tagged down below too. I think it's a bag of like 12, but they're the perfect size for these bottles that I bought from Amazon and for the 32 ounce bottles that you buy, at least from the one that I bought from the Flaming Candle. I'm gonna have all that stuff tagged down below so that you guys, if you want to have lids that like have, cause these ones are almost like the other ones except that they, um, they're still the flip top, but they're circular at the end. They both work and they're both really, really awesome. So I already started mixing my fragrance oils. So what I mean by that is that I, I have a lot of candles where I'm mixing two or more fragrance oils and I have different ratios, like sometimes I'll have like three to one or just one to one, but every time I make a batch of candles, I have to measure out both fragrances and it just takes a lot more time. And so I thought I could save myself a lot of time if I just start pre-mixing them in these bottles. I just ordered a ton of fragrance oil, not a ton. Well, I already did some that I ordered, but I saved the bulk of it to show you guys. Um, what I do whenever I mix my fragrance oils and kind of how I organize them like to keep them all Stored because I waited like a year into my business to start doing this. So my fragrances that I had been mixing evenly weren't Even which means that I had been like over pouring or under pouring what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get everything organized I just realized that I'm missing a like skewer thing to mix the fragrance oils in the big bottles So I'm gonna go grab that and I'll be right back this is everything that I ordered. What I do is I have um, a basket, this basket right here. And this is where I put all of my fragrance oils that I am actively using in my candles, if that makes sense. I also have this bin and this bin, you can't really see them. This bin is filled up with all of my backups. So I have um, my file box and um, my 33 pound scale. I'll include, I'll include all of this stuff down below. If you don't see it, click on the Amazon link because that'll bring you to like my Amazon, it's not my Amazon store, it's just um, like a central location that has everything that I, I try to put everything that I use in there, but most of this stuff is in there. Like even this file box <laughs> is in there. But anyway, so this is a 33 pound kitchen scale. Um, let's do this box first and I'm pretty sure, I don't think I've ever heard anyone talk about the candle maker store before. I'm wondering if, if like no one knows about it. It is a, uh, candle maker store. I mean, that's literally, that's what it is. It's, it's a store for candle makers. I'm going to link them down below. I feel like I shouldn't be using this knife because it's not very sharp. They sent me a big one. <laughs> All right, what's cool about the... Did I order a sample pack? No way, I don't remember ordering that. I totally did. I forgot, okay.
fun. Yay, I forgot that I ordered that. Okay. Um, so something cool about the Candle Major store is that they're actually how I found out about these these lids in the first place. Because look, they send their bottles with a regular cap on, but then they send a lid that's similar. It's not the exact same lid, but it's similar. And that's when I was like, man, they make lids like this for bottles like these. I bet I could find some on Amazon. And I did. The whole reason that I'm making this video is because I want to show y'all how to organize all your fragrance oils and mix them together and then, and then keep all your stuff organized. So I need to be, I need to be smart about how I do this. Right now, I should probably just unopen all the boxes, right? That's what I should do. California candle. Oh my God, no, you know what? I'm gonna stick to what I'm doing. I was wondering why it was two boxes from Candle Science. Like, why would they send two boxes? They didn't, one of them's from California Candle Supply. Got a 16 ounce bottle. That's it. Oh, yes. Hold on. Oh, okay. A 16 ounce bottle. Another 16 ounce bottle. Oh, I love ordering like a bunch. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Ooh. Right. <laughs> I'm almost out of Wix stickers. I forgot that I ordered this. I'm so glad. The other day I was like, <gasps> I'm almost out. This is just my um, method. This is something very new. I just started doing it. So if you are watching this and at in, 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 in any point you kind of realize like, wow, that's dumb. Don't do it like that. Please leave it down in the comments and let me know <laughs> because I just started mixing my fragrance oils and I'm trying to do it all and keep everything like as organized as possible. I'm trying to move this down so you can actually see I'm gonna try bringing you up and then like down maybe. I know that this is a weird angle, but I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. And I feel like that's more important than seeing my face. So, okay. This is my basket of all of my active um, fragrance oils. This right here is my bin that I put all my backups in. This fragrance oil that I, um, this one right here, this 16 ounce bottle is a mixture of this and this. This one is empty, which is why I had it at the back. So all these ones at the back are like basically empty. Um, where did we go? Why did I put it back in there? Here we go. This is equal parts this and this. This one's empty, just about. So, what we're gonna do is take this lid off and then I'm gonna take the rest. There's just like a teeny tiny amount left. Put that over here and then I'm gonna put this lid on. So now this is full of that. Now, I don't know if y'all watched my last video, but my last video I showed you guys how I go through my inventory system. What I'm doing right now, this is when you would, before doing any of this, this is when you would go into your inventory system and update your inventory and, and weigh it out. If, if, if you want to, you don't have to, but if you want to. Now we're gonna put equal parts, this and this, into here. We can't put the full bottles of either of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put, I have two more backups of those fragrance oils right there. I'm gonna put them in here. I have to kind of guess. So I'm gonna just weigh it and then look till I think it gets about halfway of what's left. So well, I need to take the lid off first and then we tear it. Now pay attention whenever you start filling it up because whatever you stop at, you need to tear it and fill it up to that exact point again. 10.85. Now let's add tear. And let's pour this one in until it says 10.85 again. 10.85, oh crap. 10.95. So let's add 1.1 ounce of this one now. Thank you. 
that's filled up to about there. That's pretty good. So that one's done. So now these, I organize it in here like this. Whether they're empty or not, if I'm using them for my mixtures over there, I still put them near the back. Usually I have the ones that are completely empty at the back. Now let's do this one. This one's almost empty, so this should be, should be good. This one is a mixture of that one, which is empty, and this one. Let's just pour it all in. All right, 10.10. .10. I'm gonna save this lid, because I love this lid. 10.10. .10. Now the next one needs to be 10.10. Okay, I have two backups, so the other one is definitely gonna go into the big, the big bin. All right, we're trying to get up to 10.10. .10. Whoops, I did 10.25. Okay, so now I need to add 0.15. All right, I just realized that I haven't been stirring these. So, all right, and then this one. Yeah, like you can kind of see the separation of the fragrance oils. So I feel like this step is definitely important. I just don't know how many times you should do this or for how long. I've been stirring them for like about as long as I do with my candles, so. Um, these are the ones that I ordered for my spring candle. So I'm gonna put one of the backups in there and then I'm gonna just put the next one right here up at the front because the ones up at the front are um, the ones that I either haven't mixed yet or the ones that I just use without mixing. I'm running out of room. Okay, so I have all my backups in my big bin and I've mixed these as much as I can, which now they're pretty much full. So now I basically have 32 ounce bottles instead of just a whole bunch of 16 ounce bottles of these fragrances. Um, so yeah. That, um, that pretty much sums everything up. I, um, yeah, um, I'm just gonna go put everything away now and then get started on my next video, which is about Canton. So I hope that this was helpful. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, leave them down in the comments, or if you have any comments on something that I did that was stupid or incorrect, please let me know as well, because I'm always open to criticism. And, um, especially from y'all, because I usually get really, um, good feedback, like, like helpful feedback. So I always love hearing from y'all and, um, thank you guys for watching this video and as always be excellent to each other and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.